those who, of you who have followed my tutorials in the past uh, on music editing uh, may know that um, I use Jack, and if you're doing music editing and any sort of advanced sound editing on Linux, you're probably using Jack D to uh, connect all your sound applications. But now you also know that sound applications that don't uh, aren't Jack compatible will stop working while Jack's running. For example, if you try to play a YouTube video while Jack D is running, the YouTube video will not play. And uh, I believe the reason for this, and, and I'm not really a hardware guy, so I may not have this exactly right, but you got your hardware, and then you have uh, a piece of software that connects that, that you funnel all your sound through, and in most cases that's going to be ALSA, um, that's A-L-S-A. And then on uh, Ubuntu-based systems like Linux Mint and Ubuntu, I uh, usually have Pulse Audio on top of that. Uh, so Pulse Audio is basically connected to ALSA, which is connected to the hardware. When you start up Jack D, it usually bumps Pulse, Pulse, eh, Pulse Audio off to the side and connects itself to ALSA. Um, so how can we get them to play together? Well, basically, we're going to start up ALSA, then start up JackD, and then connect uh, our Pulse Audio to the JackD to connect to ALSA, to connect to our sound device. It's actually a lot easier than it sounds, and uh, we'll give you a few more features. Now, it, this is something only do if you actually use JackD. You know, I, I wouldn't recommend doing it and otherwise, otherwise you might screw stuff up. But if you search through your repositories, I'm going to use Aptitude. Uh, we'll do aptitude search, and we'll just do um, pulse audio. Oh, yeah, I spelled that right. Okay. Uh, and you look at in here, we have some modules, and you'll see that there's a Jack module. Uh, and you can tell by the eye right here that I already have it installed, but you probably don't by default. So go ahead and go sudo aptitude install and install that module. When you do that, um, it will basically set it up so that uh, that Pulse Audio can do what I just said, basically connect to Jack. Now you will have to make a simple little change uh, inside a Pulse Audio config file. So we will, uh, as sudo, we will vim into a file under etc pulse default dot pa. And you'll have to type in your password because you don't want just anyone changing. Okay, obviously I typed something wrong here. Uh, oh, there we go. Pulse. And if you come down here, you'll find a section not too far down where it says load audio drivers statically. And pretty much everything under there is going to be commented out but we want to add these two lines. They aren't there. I'll have them in the description of this video, the first link of the post of this video. I'll have these uh, two lines. Post those in there. And then all you have to do after that is restart Pulse Audio. Uh, you can either try restarting it. I think I had to kill Pulse Audio and it automatically restarted. And when it restarts, if Jack D isn't running, it will start up Jack D. Um, and from there on out, whenever you boot your system, Pulse Audio will start, and it will start JackD. Um, and once you do that, if you go into your sound properties or preferences uh, down by your system tray there, you'll now see under your input tab here, uh, this first one here is my little webcam. You can ignore that. But normally it would say the name of your hardware device. And if you go to hardware, uh, it would have your hardware device there. And you notice my regular hardware device isn't showing up because Pulse Audio, which this interface is working with, is not connected to the hardware. It's connected to basically a virtual uh, sound card, which is Jack D, which is connected to, Pul uh, to also, which is connected to our hard uh, our hardware device. So at this point, uh, we can start up a bunch of our Jack D stuff. If I start up uh, Jack Control, you'll see that. It is already running because the start button's coming out. And now you can see that we still have our system capture here, but we also have another input output, which is our pulse audio. Uh, so let me start up some things here. I'll start up ZYN add sub effect. And as you can see, uh, 
Uh, that is working. Uh, let me get up my little system monitor here, make sure that's recording properly. Ah, you guys are not hearing that because uh, I, let's see. I think I have to connect this to here. Connect now. There we go. So since my FFmpeg is recording the Pulse Audio output, even though I could hear that through my speakers because it was connected to my system here, I had to connect ZYN add sub effect to Pulse Audio for my FFmpeg, which is recording now, to pick that up. And uh, we can pipe that into, you know, a effects editor like Rack a Rack here. So I will disconnect that, connect ZYN add sub effect to Rack a Rack, and then connect my Rack a Rack output to my Pulse Audio so you guys can hear it. Now, you can hear my music here, and if I turn on these effects in Rack a Rack, and let me pick one here like Metal Amp, so same instrument but with some effects added. Sorry if that was a little loud. Uh, so that's great and all. Let's go here to Firefox and I will press play. And this is the most recent uh, Mystery Guitar Man video. Make sure I can One set. Here. Applications like Firefox and the flash within the Firefox playing while I have Jack D running, I can actually pipe the output of that into other applications now, such as Rack or Rack. So let me go back here and I will disconnect. Well, I can leave ZYN add sub effect connected to that, uh, but I will connect the Pulse Audio Jack Sync output to the Rack or Rack input, like so. And I'll turn off the effect for right now, but I'll press play here. Today I'm so excited. So this is without no. rack rack no. effects going. Sorry guys, hold on one sec. And now this is with the effects on. can we now play non-jack related devices, uh, virtual devices, um, we can actually connect those devices, although they all will show up as one output, uh, but we can connect those into other applications and we can record audio to something from something, even if it's not jack related. Um, and that's it. Uh, so. This is going to open up a lot of things for us. This will make things working a lot easier for me. Instead of switching back and forth between Pulse and Jack, I can now have both running at the same time. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. And I'll have a link in the description to a post that will uh, have, once again, the instructions on how to do this, which are quite simple to set up. Thanks again. Have a great day.